the surprising role of this bacteria in your pet's health. These are seven really important studied benefits. Probiotics, the good bacteria, they're defined as live bacteria that line your pet's digestive tract, support the body's ability to fight infection, absorb nutrients. There are trillions of these bacteria that help our pet's body function normally. These probiotics, they produce B vitamins, they produce vitamin K. They stimulate serration of IgA, regulatory T cells, key components of the immune response. They form a barrier in the intestinal tract, preventing invasion by pathogens. They even secrete their own enzymes to kill harmful microbes. As soon as your dog or cat was born, that's when they're first exposed to probiotics from their mom during the birthing process then those go on to inhabit and fully colonize the entire intestinal tract. Then historically our dogs and cats are gonna get those probiotics from the things they were hunting. But now everything is clean. I mean, mmm, look at that yummy kibble. Just how many good bacteria do you think that includes? These are the top seven benefits for our dogs and cats. Number one, digestive health. Extensive studies have shown clear benefits of all forms of diarrhea using the probiotics. Your dog has GI signs from garbage gut, you should be using a probiotic. Many researchers are finding positive benefits of inflammatory bowel disease, benefiting from probiotics. You can think of the probiotics lining the intestinal tract, decreasing inflammation, helping heal that damaged intestine. Number two, antibiotic related problems. Here are the probiotics they're helping in two ways. First, after giving a dog or cat antibiotics, often we can see antibiotic associated diarrhea. We've wiped out the good bacteria. The most important thing in that instance is supplementing with a good quality probiotic. And now there's some studies showing that the probiotics can decrease the likelihood of antibiotic resistance. They can actually increase the effectiveness of these antibiotics. Number three, the gut brain connection. How the brain is working or not is directly correlated with the microbiome those good bacteria in the intestinal tract. Classic example is dogs with separation anxiety. Tula has some of that. So then studies have shown that if you supplement with probiotics, you can decrease inflammation on that gut brain axis, decreasing anxiety. Studies in rodents have shown that supplemental probiotics, they can decrease levels of the stress hormones. Number four, immune system help. Do you know that 80% of your immune system, your dog's immune system, your cat's immune system, it's in here in their intestinal tract. So knowing that, you can see how it's not a big stretch. You have the right bacteria, those probiotics within your dog or cat's intestinal tract, they're gonna have a better optimally functioning immune system. Many of the diseases that our dogs and cats get, they have inflammation as the underlying basis. You think of diabetes, you can think of organ dysfunction, liver disease, kidney disease. As far back as 2015, a review study showed that specific probiotics, lactobacillus bifidobacterium, they can have specific anti-inflammatory benefits benefiting these inflammatory based diseases. Many of the infectious diseases that our dogs and cats get, they enter via the intestinal tract. These are oral pathogens. Think of a dog getting parvovirus or a cat getting FIP. There have been several studies of probiotics showing to be beneficial in those situations. Number five, skin health and in particular allergies. This has been especially well studied in people and in particular children. They've seen that with infants, if they're actually exposed to the right probiotics early on, they have a far decreased chance of ever developing atopy, and that's environmental allergy, what most of our dogs are getting. They can also see a far decreased incidence of eczema. There's food allergies, surprisingly very common in our itching cats, and upwards of 15% of itching dogs, they have food allergies. These have shown if the specific probiotics are given early on, there's a far decreased incidence of food allergies ever happening. Number six, oral health. Does your dog have bad breath? Do you have a cat that has red inflamed gums or gingivitis? That smell and bad breath, typically that's from bacteria in your pet's mouth. What some pet parents are now finding, if they supplement with additional probiotics, they're seeing dogs that have less bad breath. They're seeing animals that have lowered levels of gingivitis. You're just restoring the good bacteria that should be in your pet's mouth, and guess what? You're seeing those disease symptoms go away. Number seven, the probiotics, they may be beneficial for weight loss. Upwards of half of the dogs and cats in North America, they're considered overweight. The little poodle's got a few extra pounds. It's pretty clear now that the number of different factors that are affecting weight, making it much more difficult for our dogs and cats to lose weight. Ultimately, the key goes back to inflammation. The good bacteria in the intestinal tract, they can decrease levels of inflammatory cells, then organs, i.e. the pancreas, can function normally. Decreased levels of inflammation, you have less insulin resistance, 
You could have cells doing what they're supposed to do. They're gonna take in that blood glucose, store it within the cells, as opposed to converting that to fat. And that can all happen from those good bacteria. Then probably your next big question is, Dr. Jones, what specific probiotics should we be supplementing our dogs and cats with? The two most studied ones include Lactobacillus acidophilus bifidobacterium. Typically, it's really important that these bacteria, they're alive to be effective. You wanna have minimum amounts of 100 million CFUs, that's colony forming units, per 10 pounds of body weight daily. I do have those specific probiotics in my supplements, Ultimate Canine Health Formula, Ultimate Feline Health Formula. It'd be great if you try my supplements. Clearly, there's no pressure, but if your dog or cat has any of those specific health conditions, I encourage you to try a good quality probiotic supplement. And the other big point I need to add, is not something that's gonna happen within a week. In general, you're gonna need to be giving these probiotics for a minimum of 90 days or three months, and then assess, are they being beneficial or not? Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of the surprising benefits of bacteria for our dogs and cats. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and if you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.